Greetings, NoobTube Army. My name is Locke, and I'm here to introduce to you NoobTube Episode 200. Where's Tobin and Yuzo, you ask? Well, they're coming right up, but in a different form than what you're used to. What you are about to see is the culminated efforts of the NoobTube community coming together to create this episode. This is a project that took months to pull together, and it demonstrates how awesome our community really is. So in the next hour, you are getting a purely community-driven and community-created show of the best moments of the last 100 episodes of NoobTube, organized in a somewhat coherent manner. You will laugh, you will cry, and if you're watching this with family members, you'll probably want to end this and stop it right now. But without further ado, I present to you episode zero of NoobTube. Yow. Oh, and before I forget, Start it off like we usually do. Ding. <sighs> so they showed a little CG video like Kratos, Rav I've got a huge cock. Word is eyes just dick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> That's true. Do you want to be a dick, or do you want to be a dick even more? How to power up the scent of your ass crack. <laughs> and, man, you were talking about the boobies? Yeah. It looks pretty good. Uh, pretty good. They're, they're, they're not as point, because before they were almost like triangles. Yeah, because it, like, it was like polygon. four polygons. Yeah, it was like four polygons and a red polygon. <laughs> yeah, it's just... Now they've like, got a little uh, curve. They don't bounce. How am I supposed to rub one out to that? <laughs> it is freaking awesome. Dude, totally. Like, what's your favorite part? I got three words for you. High definition... Boobies. Uh, All right. You're stabbing bitches, yes. right? And then flying with yes. your thing. It's and, like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> and the best thing is, like, once you finally just destroy them, and then finally you just jump to another one, it's like, ah! <laughs> it falls out of this. It's like, you've gotten colder and colder, like, as the games go on. Like, pretty soon he's just going to be, like, riding pregnant women into battle and, like, slapping retarded kids. <laughs> so Kratos talks like he's a gangster rapper now. So it's like, Zeus is like, Oh ho, Kratos, you are here to defeat me. He's like, nah, son, motherfucker, blat, blat. He's just like, <laughs> he's just like, I'm going to steal you in the grill. Bling, bling. I mean, they kind of have that innovation of like killing monsters and then getting the health. They had innovations instead. of killing monsters? Well, <laughs> What was of, the first one the, like? <laughs> yeah. It was like, it was like bird watching. Yeah, you know, it was like, like Kratos is just like, slow motion. It's like, I saw a cockatoo. <laughs> <laughs> Raven. <laughs> Is this moment awesome enough? They're like, no, no, not yet. Hold on. Let's let's add, you know, tearing off the harpy's wings and using them themselves. Like, oh, that's right. That's, that's right. awesome. All right. All right let, like, like, let's more, more intestines when we kill that guy. Mm. Let's just, like, turn that up to 11. Yeah. This just... needs more awesome. <laughs> have, some, have a mountain exploding in the background and, like, yeah. Zeus jacking off on, like, some, you know, serpent's face. Like, ah! That's more awesome. Okay. Awesome! You can walk around and shine the fucking sure. unhappy butt face on every wall. <laughs> <laughs> it's like not again. <laughs> it's like you got shit on your nose, buddy. <laughs> it's like Chris is like, oh man, like, wipe it off. I got no hands. Wipe it off. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> For fucking Helios, man. Poor Seriously. Helios with the shit on his nose. <laughs> but <laughs> I don't think that was really in the game. No, probably not. <laughs> We've but made up an entire mythology dude. Like, now. it doesn't come from anywhere else, yeah. and he's kind of naked for the it's most part. He has a loincloth, so yeah. he's either in like it's a butt. He's in the taint. <laughs> Yeah, this is kind of from between his legs. It's like, holy shit, Helios is flying around. I'm not giving anything away. Helios is flying around, yeah. crashes, and it's just like, okay, everybody's protecting him. And you're like, you still want to fuck him up. Yeah. Because you want his head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want his head to show secret doors. You're yeah. like, bro, and, and what kind of bugged me about this is just like, every time you do it, he kind of screams. <laughs> <laughs> right, you bring it, you're like, I'm like, so, like, sorry, dude. Yeah, you're like, that kind of sucks for you. Normally, when you rip somebody's head off, they get the pleasure of death. Yeah. Like, this guy just gets to be stuck in your ass pocket, <laughs> and then it's just like, he's just like, his face is in Kratos' ass crack, and then yeah. every once in a while, he gets to come out and be held up against a wall to show the way back in the ass crack. <laughs> other dude mm -hmm. and the guy's like oh it's two hundred dollars i'm like two hundred dollars nothing wow <laughs> <laughs> fucking shot him in the head and took the deed <laughs> <laughs> so what is your honor at it's honor like, goes <laughs> way down <laughs> it's like, like the honor bar is just like is, are, are you playing like as a villain for the most part most of the i'm place? playing as me okay <laughs> 
rabbit, and it says one out of five rabbits killed. Yes, right. Yes, Marksman. Yes. I'm like, whoa, what? Yes. And this OCD section in the back of my brain is like, I'm looking for rabbits. He's only quiet. Oh man, I gotta kill rabbits. <laughs> it's, it's a very impressive thing. You know, I'm never gonna wear a Wonder Bra, but that is a spectacular <laughs> that, piece of engineering. Oh yeah, <laughs> we, we 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 will appreciate the the, the results. Effect. Yes, that's <laughs> the right. The results of this amazing that, editor. That's true. It's uh, yeah. It's, uh, but your kids can be scarred for life, just like strapped to your chest while you kill dudes for like 30 Rumble, hours. I gotta be like, take over, I gotta <laughs> take a leak. Uncharted, yeah, it's... <laughs> It's got it's got everything that I've ever wanted in yeah. a game. I'm gonna have Nathan Drake's love child. I was weeping <laughs> gently. I was hugging a pillow. <laughs> you're like, oh, you're Drake, your Drake pillow. My, yeah, my, my full size <laughs> body pillow. <laughs> body pillow that has holes punched in. It. So shoop number ninety four. Do you have you seen the winner of this week's Drake's new conquest? Yes. There are two spoiler tags on this. Not only have to kick one spoiler, it warns you, and then you click the other spoiler. You guys are bad people. I know you're an Uncharted fanboy. I know I you love, you have Nathan Drake posters up in your room. I, I have a, a Nathan Drake uh, pillow. Pillow. Body I, pillow. I snuggle with at night. It's a little I, love pillow. He and I would both be doing the half tuck. <laughs> We'd just be sitting there just being sexy. Just What's doing your the half workout tuck. routine? I know. How do you get those <laughs> arms, Nathan? You're so tough. Can you show me your gut? <laughs> Not that gut. <laughs> yes, Uncharted 2. So I have been basically sitting. I have had an erection yes. for about a year and a half now. That's, uh, that's very unhealthy. On the back of the box, it said I should call a doctor if it was more than four hours, and it's been a year and a half. It was so bad. Like, it, it's just hard to explain how bad it is, where I'm sitting there listening to Nathan Fillion, who I would probably fillet for free. <laughs> Pretty much. Is it kind of like watching Labyrinth again and seeing David Bowie there, and it's just like... If David Bowie's junk will always look awesome in Labyrinth, because there's always like a Muppet right here, and then David Bowie's like pendulous ball sack right next to his fucking head. That's awesome, I love you! Him and, uh, him and, him and Nathan Drake... <laughs> my my two boys. I'm gonna get a threesome with my gamer boys. Yakuza review. They, maybe they saw that. Fucking Yakuza. Oh, I would true. fillet all four Yakuzas at once. It'd be like four <laughs> Yakuza cocks. So uh, next up is Envious mm. with the story <laughs> that is gonna get us put in prison. Probably. Well, I gotta re-record the message. Oh uh, yeah, it's Envious from the forums, and uh, I have to show you another story because he played my last one. On Noob Tube, I thought that was pretty cool. Well, I was watching Noob Tube last year, around no, like two years ago, around seventy like ish. Yeah, and I was watching it with my sister, and you guys repeated the word bukake, so I taught her how to say it, you know, because it's funny. I got a good laugh out of it, and uh, I'm guessing her first grade teacher watches the show, or just you know keeps up to date with the new phrases of semen and whatnot. But uh, next parent teacher conference, when my mom comes in. Tells her about it, and my mom did not get a good laugh out of it. Anyway, Noob Tube is kind of banned from my little sister's viewing, and I just thought that was kind of funny. All right, yow. So first up, we have Envious mm. uh, with him uh, talking about your mom. I mean, his mom. So uh, it's Christmas Day, and I'm wondering how she knew all the games that I wanted. Saying that she's been watching your show to see what games to get me. So I've gotten all these games you guys have been talking about. Yeah, my mom watches new too. That's kind of weird, eh? <laughs> Only me. Anyway, uh, thanks for all the games, I guess. Yeah. Wow, that is a fantastic idea. Hi, Envious' mom. <laughs> hey, Hi, Envious' mom. mom. I'm sorry for all the jokes about rape. I mean, she must be a, a damn a, cool mom. I mean, that considering is a, yeah. if she knows what bukake means at this point. I mean, Picturing all these people's moms <laughs> watching know. the show it's and terrible. remembering their days of doing bukake before. <laughs> <laughs> I heard there's that one time that Envious' is <laughs> <laughs> Stop, stop. That whole fraternity is... I, is, is <laughs> so he's okay. never going to watch our show again. No, we're, I'm we're sorry. sorry. We, we apologize. But I'm sorry. Your mom, I feel yeah. bad that Envious' mom is going to become a recurring noob tube joke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for Envious and his But mom. you called in and mentioned your mom, and you know that we're not good people. No. We have a winner! Awesome. Buy it right now. Yes, God of War, God of War 3. 3. It is freaking amazing. Envious' mom says get God of War 3. Mm. Envious' mom loved uh, Aphrodite's scene, I think. Yes. It's like everything that yeah. you guys liked about the show. I think there's going to be a big Envious' mom section. I'm That's sure. My guess. 
I heard that Envious's mom has a big s- section. <laughs> <laughs> Krista, <laughs> who's this from? We finally got Envy. We we finally guilted Envious or taunted Envious in the calling. Yeah, he did it. Uh, here we go. Tobin, Yuzo, what's up? It's Envious. Gotta make this short and sweet. Love everything you guys have been doing. I've been on shutdown for a while. Haven't called in. Been so busy with all this high school shit. But I'm working on something that you are guys are. Are bound to get a laugh out of. It's going to be called the uh, Rides of Envious. Follow the new tube. It's going to be a big complication, basically like Take complication of your guys' most embarrassing moments on new tube. And even if they're not embarrassing, I'll edit them and make them look embarrassing. Hey, I'm talking about you, um, Yuzo, and your uh, fetishes for puzzle games and Tobin, your crush of uh, Nathan Drake. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to really sit on YouTube at the end of the year. Please keep doing more embarrassing things. I gotta have my revenge, guys. Peace. Nice. Yeah. So first up, it's summer. So yeah. Don't wait till the end of the year. We want to see this video sooner. Second up, tell your mom to call me back. <laughs> I've been leaving her messages, uh, dude. Like, uh, I'm just saying, like, you know, the videos she sends me are private. Yeah. But we really need a call-in video. We do. We really yeah, do. She said that we can't show the videos no. that she's been sending us on the side. C- but, come uh, on, we really come on. Do you think I? I don't know. I feel bad. Like really? <laughs> no. <laughs> I feel really bad actually. Yeah, I don't but, feel yeah. bad. But it, um, I, I, I wonder if she's still watching or if she's if she's uh, uh, gotten a little angry. I, at like, us. I'm just thinking she could go one of two ways, right? She could yeah. be like like uh, reliving my youth, like because she, she's still hot, but like when she was hotter <laughs> or hottest <laughs> at the hottest point in her life, right? Um, right. <laughs> right. Right, or she could be like, "Birds, fucking, you know, yeah. blah blah blah." So like, we're gonna get an angry email. She's like, "Cut it the fuck out!" <laughs> She's like, this, this envious is mom. No more talking shit. Yes, but we love you. Yes, thank you, envious, <laughs> for having a mom. So. Yes. Uncharted is the shit. She's gonna have a threesome with me and Nathan Drake. What's your favorite game? game? Your four is awesome! This is ridiculous! Yoko was crying when I took her off stage, so she'll be here and she'll be backing up my opinions in case you're trying to say that Yakuza 4 is not the best game I'm ever just, made. I, I'm just saying, man. Like, I'm Asian, she's Asian. Shut There's the gonna fuck be up. a little bit of. I like the white dick! <laughs> <laughs> They're just like, you know. Fucking it out. Oh, God, is. I'M ROLLING DOWN RODEO WITH A SHOTGUN! You know, it's just like all these guys, like their pants are all dropped. Just like, dude, stop Are you gonna this. play? The monsters that you're fighting are all, they're called the darkness. I mean, it's not to be confused with the actual game, the darkness. Or the band, the darkness. <laughs> the band, the darkness. <laughs> I Little. Yeah, he's like, he's like in the, in the hotel with his wife, you know, <laughs> yeah. he's just like, Thank God I brought these Trojans <laughs> to stick it in your pooper. She's like, bah, dan, dan, dan. That's yeah. So was it like, awesome? Whatever. It was. It was awesome. you gonna give it? Awesomely bad. Avoid this game, and if you have any memories of this game, yeah. go and play the old game. Seriously. Yeah. Sounds shite. Anyhow, I think it's a thumbs up rental. Um, Tobin is Fuck not Tobin's this game. game and it's ass. <laughs> Is my opinion on that. He's button mashing, and it's just hmm. fuck interesting. That. Fuck that game. Um, so fuck that game. Boop. Sucks. This game blows anus. I literally found nothing good about this game. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck that shit. I was bored as fuck all. <laughs> about five minutes in, and it never relented. No. It no. never ever relented. <sighs> I never once thought that was cool. Like, yeah. Eh. Fuck this. Uh, uh, so oh. let's tap. Fuck you. Fuck you. I do not think they will put that on the box art, unfortunately. No. Um, Plus tap. NoobTube says, eats a dick for <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> um, this your game. course sucks. <laughs> really, really sucks. Like, it sucks. <laughs> it's not okay. fun. By God, the most basic gra- game graphics I've ever seen in yeah, a it's, long time. It's, the graphics are terrible and the music is like... It's not good. ...really weird techno that you can't even recognize. This There's just nothing... <sighs> fuck this game, bitch. Of course, sucked. It's yeah. not fun. It's on WiiWare. It feels to me like it should have been a Flash game, and even then, if I had played it as a Flash game, I would have felt ripped off. Seriously. Like, I would have felt ripped off if you paid me $5 to play this I game. I know. And people bought it. It's just like... I was just like... 
Ah, this is terrible. Very, very bad. So avoid this game. It's shit. The whole world is open, and basically this game is you are 15, yeah. you have fucking acne, yeah. no girls will talk to you. And you're going to grind while people insult you. Yeah. <laughs> you're <laughs> It's the worst game idea I've ever fucking heard. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think this game is... Uh, so I have a big thumbs down for this game. Two, th- two thumbs Fuck down. it. Two thumbs down. Some shithead went and tried to make Spyro of War. Oh, are you kidding? What God you- of the Dragon. It has far and away the worst flight mechanics I've ever seen in my entire life. The game sucks. It made me wow. fucking angry. The fighting was shitty. They tried to rip off God Man. of War. The platforming was shitty. They... Fucked it up. Fucking Ninja Bread Man level it's, of bad? It's gonna be up there. Like, it made me that angry. It's just like... That, <laughs> that game... And, and I just want, I want to tell Tega, yeah. like, fuck you guys for... <laughs> <laughs> no, serious. For, like, taking my heart yeah. and stomping on it on the ground for eight games <laughs> now. Something like that. It's just like my childhood memories yeah. are slowly being... Ugh. Yeah. They gave you a taste of candy, and then they yeah. took it away. They're like, how do you like this? You're like, I really like that. They're like, good. How do you like this? <laughs> ah! Yes, how do you like this piece of shit? Yeah. Oh, I'm like, uh. I don't like that, but some more candy. Okay, no. Oh! <laughs> So we'll see. Uh, but, it, but Ron Gilbert, good name. Uh, where's Brutal Legend? That's what I want to ask. Yeah. Ask Tim Schafer that. Yeah. Brutal Legend, son. Where is that shit? No and really state it's not, yes. Yeah, it's not on our list. We couldn't find, like, we can't say. It's just, there's, yeah, it's one of those games. We're pretty sure we can't say the first half, probably. Probably not. Yeah, so. Almost definitely. Um, <laughs> Brutal Legend, Tim Schafer. It is the most metal game I have ever seen in my entire life. What is, what is the... Uh, um, if you guys haven't seen the developer walkthrough... Holy shit, dude, that is so awesome. 20 minutes of gameplay yeah. on YouTube. And there's, it's, there's spoilers, a little bit of spoilers, because they, they go through the first yeah. you know, 10, 15, but oh my god, that game is going to be so awesome. Crazy. Because so, yeah. this is going to be the best game ever goddamn made. It's going to be the best game ever. I'm going to go nuts shit on this game. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to get nut shit that I am, dude. I, uh, we, we, will, we will I will out nut shit you. Uh, we will see. We will measure the nut My shit. My nut shit will block <laughs> out the sun. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. It's just, I, it's going to be awesome, dude. I'm going to play that right after, but I'm going to play Brutal Legend first. Actually, I'm going to play Brutal Legend for at least a full day yeah. before I, I break into the I think you're right. Yeah? I think you're right. Brutal oh, Legend. I think, I think, yes! I think you're right. Because uh, yeah, yeah, Brutal Legend. Brutal Legend. Yes! <laughs> It's good. Yes. It's so good. Um, so yeah, dude, it looks great. It's awesome. It is um, the shit. So it, it's basically the same demo that we got to see on the exactly, net. There's yeah. the uh, developer playthrough on the net mm-hmm. that's that's floating around out there. You can watch Tim Schafer and his buddies about play 15 through minutes, 15 minutes. Yeah. So we got to play through this, and they let you do the whole thing. It's, and my understanding is it's the entire tutorial level. So right yeah. when like they're gonna have a little you know segment, some sequence of you going to this land, and then all of a sudden, bam, you're done. You yeah. gotta like figure out how to use the axe. And like, dude, the controls. For it felt solid. It felt the, the only thing I wish is that we had gotten so they basically walk you through the fighting and yeah. the driving. So yeah. you're you're in the car, you're going around. But one of the big things I'm excited about is the squad control where you got your headbangers yeah. and they can go around and do stuff because apparently you can actually do top down like RTS shit. Apparently there's RTS elements, there's like weird Pikmin elements yeah. and I don't know how they're mixed together. Yeah. It's a huge open world. Like we yeah. even got to see it. Like after you finish the, the, the demo, you can go out on the land in your car and then go everywhere. The world is huge. Yeah. Like ridiculously huge. So the combat feels really good. The humor is hilarious. Like just all the all the dialogue, all the just the the back backdrops. <laughs> like the joke depth. Yeah. Right? The, the 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 density of the amount of jokes that you see in the in the dialogue is ridiculous. Oh, like every it's other huge. word you're like cracking up. Yeah. Uh, so I mean I have nothing bad to say about this. Like we played Brutal Legend, we sat down, it it works, it's gonna be the shit we're gonna buy at launch. Buy at launch. It's total ass. Starts great. Yes. Starts awesome. <sighs> what happened? It turns into an <laughs> RTS! So you didn't like it? <laughs> so I, I've gone back and forth in my head, you know, because like we'll uh, think about what to say on the show before we come out and do the show. Sure, sure, sure. And you know, I, I kept going back and playing more because I was so excited about this game and, and everything. But I mean, like, I, I'm gonna straight out say this: I hate the RTS elements. I don't think they're fun. Really? I hate them. See, yeah. I, like, I, you know what bugged me about the fucking game? What's that? It's stopping funny. Mm. Like you're playing and you're getting all you know a joke, like three jokes a minute. It's yeah. just going crazy. All of a sudden, you go into the open world. His character changes. His character's not like, I'm in this new world, I'm going to make a whole bunch of jokes. It's going to be like, I'm the hero, hero yeah. and I'm going to go, you know, basically kiss the maiden, I'm going to go do all this other stuff. And it, His lines aren't even that funny anymore. Yeah, they you know do get I mean? less funny. So I mean, I, the, the writing, like... He the, left. 
Yeah, it might be kind of okay, but it's not what we signed on for, and no. that's and that's the kind of big thing for me is I feel like the demo that we played isn't the game we bought. No, not at all. And not at all. You know, I feel so bad. I, I feel know. like I've, I feel like I've betrayed <sighs> betrayed one of our childhood heroes. I know, yeah. but oh well. That is. Yeah. So that is what it is. <laughs> Can you believe we're doing this, dude? Yeah, and I'm not even saying I'm not even saying renting it. It's just not we're going to give it a shot. Anyway. Anymore. But we um, did not like it, and he nails exactly why. It's just like two hours of fun, and then a big dump on my face. Yeah, and it's also you know the demo is very misleading yep. considering what you got. If the dem if the game was like the demo all the way through, we would have a totally different story. I would have known I wasn't going to like it. Oh wait, you're saying if <laughs> no, it was like, like the if demo it was like the demo all the way through, yeah, yeah. it would be like it would have been exactly what we were looking for. Yes. Psychonauts. I think we st- we'll still need to replay Psychonauts at some point. I think, I think it's so. about time, especially to watch that taste of yeah, exactly. legend out of our mouth. Brutal legend. Just I need like oh. some some. Psychonauts Listerine. Yeah. His uh, question was, what would Tim Shaver have to do to get a financially successful game? I would say, make a better game. <laughs> okay. So, we have most disappointing most game. Most disappointing. I think it was called, like, Shame of the Year, yes. a couple other things. Like, we were really hyped about this game. I don't think it's going to be a big surprise to people. None of you guys are going to be surprised about this. So it was Brutal Legend. Brutal Legend. Oh, man, I wanted this game to rule. This is, oh. this is actually one of those games where, as time goes on, I feel less and less bad about shitting on it. because Seriously, because I, I was thinking about this when I was making this list. I was thinking about this. Yeah. I was like, Brutal Legend, the open world stuff was completely empty and devoid of fun. Yep. The combat was bullshit, crappy RTS. It was ridiculous. It was totally repetitive, just like Assassin's Creed was repetitive, yeah. in terms of the missions that you can do. Yeah, so I mean, I uh, I was oh. so excited and so disappointed. Like, this game was by far the biggest disappointment. Yeah, there was... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, I was just saying, like, the, the biggest thing that pissed me off the most about it was the demo was such a difference from the game. When I yeah. played the demo, I'm like, oh my god, this is Tim Schafer's genius, yeah. masterpiece, I love it, blah blah blah. It was a lie. It was, it it was, was a basically... Lie. Neither do I. Can we play anything else? What, do you I, have anything? I mean, come on. This is, I've got Brutal Legend. Alright. Compared to this. Works for me. Alright, fuck it. Ah, oh, fuck, I lost again! What's up, bitch? Bring this back down? You need COVID's StarCraft 2 training course for only 3 d payments of 1995. I'm interested. Show me more. Let's go! Eat that bowl of kimchi. Motherfucker, are you kidding me with a fork? There you go, that's Korean. Let's do this shit. Go, go! Let's not Kim Jong Il enough. What else you got? Again! Okay. That's right. It's the best Korea. It's the best Korea. Stop. <laughs> oh yeah, I beat Slayer. God damn it! Yes! yes! Started with Dead Space. It's funny, like we'd already started playing this game, and I was already editing last week's episode. Oh, really? And I'm going oh, through yeah, and listening yeah. to us. We're just like, it looks stupid. It looks boring. Yeah, it looks dark. Know. It looks this. I was just like, fuck. <laughs> 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 Let's get started with Infamous. Infamous. So, the the really cool thing about it is, so, so we get this open world yeah. aspect to it. And you start exploring, and you start to realize that the things that they've worked on are the things that we really care about. Oh. Uh, so let's get started with Batman Arkham Asylum. Cool. So, I mean, this was just like somebody wanted to do a good Batman game, and they succeeded. Yeah. With Uncharted, Uncharted! The cool the thing is, is unlike almost any game on the market, the person with you kills people! <laughs> they actually fucking kill people! Like, but let's get started... With Assassin's Creed 2, you so cool. huge double, triple thumbs awesome. up. Awesome. Probably my top ten this year. It I'm is, thinking. yeah. This game blows me away with its awesomeness. Yes. Um, well, let's get Cube. started with Darksiders. And then it, it the gets... game changes. <laughs> well, uh, it, it completely opens up. And it's so weird, because really, the first 90 minutes are like, this is such a bad God of War clone. It's yeah. the wor- It's like, you take all the different God of War clones, and there's a bunch of them, right? Yeah. It's probably one of the worst that you'll ever find. Yeah. But then it turns into Zelda. It does turn into Zelda. And it, it's a really good Zelda That's clone. Uh, so let's get started, though, with God of War 3. God of War? Mm. Well, uh, we won't go in there. So anyway, that... 
Awesome, buy it right now. Yes, God of God War, War 3. 3. It is freaking amazing. Envious's mom says get God of War 3. Mm. So, uh, but let's get started with Yakuza 3. It, you know, it, it definitely takes it out of the button mashing realm. Like, you have to each weapon, you know, like yeah. some weapons have distance on them. You have to keep distance from him. You have to do dodging around him. You have to do blocking. The blocking is really important. Yep. And on that same fucking beach, there's a fishing game. <laughs> Seriously, and you can get all sorts of different bait. I went to a fish yep. shop in a market, and I'm like, oh, there's fish here. I'm like, oh, what kinds of bait? <laughs> and I bought every single one, right? And, I'm like, and the cool thing is when you catch fish, you go back to the fish market, and you sell one for money. <laughs> Started. Oh, oh, shit. It's over oh, here. It oh, killed you. Oh, shit. That's the last known position of that wine. Splinter Cell Conviction. Holy crap. This game is interesting. This game is awesome. <laughs> this game is fucking awesome. I can't even... I am so loving this game right now. So that's right. what you get. All right, here we go. So All Red right. Dead Redemption, so... It's great. I, I think it's great. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's, 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 it's the production quality in this game is absolutely. fantastic. And it's one of those things where, you know, I, I am definitely... I'm, I'm really enjoying it. It's, it's <laughs> one of these things where... Uh, so I was playing for a while at first, and I was just following the main storyline. Mm -hmm. I didn't know about teleporting. Yeah. And I was, as I was talking to you about it, I'm like, annoyed. ah, you know, I'm going to go yeah. play more Alan Wake instead. Mm -hmm. And then once I've kind of gotten the rhythm of the game, now... I'm Start into it. Now I'm into it and I'm going around and I'm, I'm kind of digging, you know, like rescuing people from buildings where they're being held hostage and like all this the other random stuff. stuff. So, so basically, uh, 2K Moran, whoever, um, decided to make a little bit of a publicity stunt. Yeah. So they basically took a bunch of Bioshock posters, they put them in wine bottles and then stored them at different cities around the world. Like on the beaches? On the beach, yeah. Ah, boy. Mm. Oh, yeah, so uh, we're drinking a different bottled wine this time, I yes. understand, it's, but it's Alderbrook. Yeah, Alderbrook uh, uh, 2006 Zinfandel. We can't drink boxed wine anymore. It's, I it's, know. It's ridiculous. I know. And, it's, uh, and it's then important. people are going to keep making photoshops of like, our, our box <laughs> of wine crying because we've, we've uh, abandoned it. We'll get, we'll get but, back to it know, at some this, point. This uh, new wine we got from our uh, friend... Mm. Friend Elena, thank you very much for the donation. It's kind of nice doing a podcast where know. people know that we'd like wine, because because then like we buy we start off with a box wine, yes, and then people are giving us nicer wine, and then like our friend Elena's giving us like Cabernet 2002. It's obviously it's, way too classy for us. Yeah, it's from France. Yeah, some country where apparently they have wine. I know. I, I don't understand. Uh, a new shirt called Wino. Yes, and it'll it be on, on the it. screen right now. So if you think of Wino, who do you think of? My beautiful face. That's so right. there is, there's, we got a shirt. I'm not sure how I feel about this, about you guys walking around with shirts calling me a wino, but it, uh, it's pretty fun. Oh. So bing. <laughs> Cat zombie. <laughs> so we're drinking sake this week because yes. fuck it. And Japan. And Japan, Japan is coming up. I think to start off, we're going to celebrate with celebration. A a bubbly. So sh c congratulations to you, sir. Congratulations. Episode, uh, 100. Let me take care of you, sir. Thank you, thank you. All right. You, so so uh, congratulations, sir. Congratulations. And hopefully everybody's celebrating at home with a little bubbly or soda. Yeah. Uh, if, you're, if you're legal to drink or if you can find booze and you're illegal to drink. Yes, yeah, so if you check your parents' cabinets, yeah. your cabinets. We'll tell you exactly where it is. And where the key is. Mm. Uh. accidentally got fine beer. It sounded really good. It's made, it's made of puppy dog tails and vagina. Yes. If you actually Point, look, can you see? I don't think you can see it. It says 0.5% alcohol, which might as well be drinking water. If we were full. You want some wine? I think you I'm a little thirsty. Wine? Where's your, where's um, your cup? Where's your... <gasps> what the fuck is that shit? I think it's a pimp cup. Is that a pimp cup? This I'm so jealous. It's, uh, man, it's, that's... Oh, what's I that? Would, oh! <laughs> This is our um, celebration of of, uh, of 100 episodes. We got pimp glasses. This is, I think these hold 40 ounces. I shit you not. Oh, she gets on 40s. Oh, next episode. Yes. We're four in 40s. <laughs> All right, it's on. <laughs> what we've got is, is drunk Yuzo. I which got three chamais. Three chamais and... Three. <laughs> Range, Range has had three times, three times as much as us, and he's unfazed. I haven't seen you so drunk. I know, it's no, awesome. This is the most drunk you will ever see me. You will never oh, see me this drunk on the show. We've got to get him another, another Shimei. Just Hold to on. Make sure. What we're going to do is later on, we're going to get a video of Yuzo yakking yes. in the alleys of Shinjuku. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. oh, I am so fucked up. If you type boobs <laughs> in Google and do images, you might yeah. get some boobs. You may get you rest may. Of the but You might have to turn safe search off. That's, yeah. that's the pro tip. Right. 
You want to tell them your favorite porn sites too, you pervert? Hey, I'm just saying. Redtube.com. Not, so <laughs> Wait, is it not porn tube? No. Sorry. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, Filthy.com. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> J-Date. I'm sorry. J-Date. Uh, Dang, Jewish girl? <laughs> the, yeah. I don't want the foreplay, I want the penetration. <laughs> <laughs> and, and slight movement. You would yeah, like just give me a little, give me a little just bit. A of little the, bit. Yeah, <laughs> let me get my Jimmy wet. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to say because I want the graphics of the Wii. I want it to look. It looks better than a DS. I know, but I'm just like, I would have never, I would have heard you say that. If only you could get the graphic power of the Wii. <laughs> the dildo. The dildo. I knew! The second I held a dildo up to my face in a skit, I was just like... That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. This is gonna be me going... <laughs> <laughs> oh, and by the way, while I'm here, Eat Lead is the shit. I love playing that game. Yo. That's right, bitches! Whatever. Eat Lead is the it's shit. It's still about even. It's about, it's even. about even. This is uh, shoot number 83, and the winner is... The winner is Spectro with mm. Yuzo's Revenge! Uh, yeah, I don't quite understand the concept behind this. Yeah. My guess is that um, I am Matt Hazard, and yeah. I'm killing you and getting my revenge. Is that, does that sound right? I think right? that maybe your revenge is that the game sucked. Short review on Eat Lead. Fuck this game, fuck anybody that buys it, burn this shit. That's right! I'm just saying, you got two people there now. I'm, I'm definitely right. winning by like eight, I thought, eight I, or no, nine people. No, you are not! <laughs> there were so many people that, that called in saying Eat Lead was awesome. Sure. What we've got here is Dante Lama with mm. a, uh, a comment about Eat Lead. I bet yes. he thinks it's awesome. No, I think he's going to think he sucks. I will agree with, with you, though. The gameplay isn't exactly the greatest thing, and it's not the shiniest. But the writing is hilarious. So I'm going to give a look to both of you. All right? How can the game be good and bad? It, that's impossible. <laughs> it is bad. It is not worth it. It is awesome, and it's the best game ever made. I, 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 <laughs> all right, fine. Let's declare it a tie. We all will right. announce that Matt, this Matt Hazard game is a tie, and leave it at that. So I don't think we have any time for voicemails. <laughs> You're lucky, because there's a lot of fucking Eat Lead Sucks voicemails right here. All I remember is that there was a bunch of voicemails saying <laughs> like, like, Eat Lead was... No. <laughs> I deleted that shit. <laughs> we won. Eat Lead is Eat Lead is the best game ever made. So next up is uh, Flippy dropping some knowledge. No, uh, this is Flippy forty twenty from the forums. I just want to say Eat Lead rocked my socks so hard they're now on my ears. You though, you're as wrong as communism. So e Eat Lead does rule. Uh, I, I can't help but notice we're not getting any voicemails that support Yuzo's opinion. I, well, let's just say that the people, person that's controlling all of the voicemails is totally... Hey! A, I admit nothing. <laughs> I admit nothing. I've never deleted anything. Also, Eat Lead is the shit. Just got to side with Tobin on this one, and yow. <clears throat> so I disagree with your latter statement, but that was a very funny... Eat funny Lead story. is the shit! And just before I go, Yuzo, Eat Lead is the shit. I just rented it today, and I've put it in. I've played about 20 minutes of it, and I know I might sound young, but I've been gaming ever since I was little, so that I still find the jokes funny. All right. Yow. Yeah, 20 minutes. I liked it, too. <laughs> <laughs> Give it another hour or two, you're going to get sick of it real fast. All I'm saying is that he said I was right. <laughs> Got this. Uh, hey, Tobin Yuzo. Um... Just played uh, Eat Lead, um, and uh, yeah, I'm sorry, Tobin, but I'm gonna have to side with Yuzo. Um, the game sucks, Donkey Balls, and yeah, you you Yuzo's right. The only thing good is the voice acting, and the the gameplay sucks shit. <laughs> and um, yow. <sighs> so I think it's still. I think it's still tied. I think we still. It's, 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 it's like it's kind of running neck and neck. Uh, so next up, Top Hat six 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 with a Lies. Little of, with a little bit Lies. of logic, a little bit of truth Lies. to drop on us. Hey Tobin, hey Uzo, it's Top Hat six 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 here, and I just wanted to make um make something known to the world. Eat lead is the fucking shit. Tobin's right, Uzo, you're wrong. Eat lead is so awesome. Even the gameplay is all right. Just get through it. It's worth playing. Pretty much that's what I have to say. It's one of the best games I've played this year. <laughs> Yow. Eat Lead is the shit. All i got to say is rent this game and then pick your and then, side. And then pick, pick your, your side. side. Come on over. Come on I'm over just to saying, my side. This is where the right people are. My side will be much bigger. 
because there's a lot of wrong people out there. I, I'm 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 okay with being in the 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 smart the the, the wrong minority. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts. Re, re. I, I'm responding to an email that you wrote me called Chain of Memories. Well, so it was Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. Yeah. Re, <laughs> re. <laughs> Our next week new releases include Squishy Tank <laughs> and Game and Watch Manhole. I, I shit you not. Yeah. Why did you put this on the list? Because of the name. Every Pizza. week you put something on here to make me angry. It was though. Pizza Morgana colon. Monsters and manipulations in the magical forest. Shin Megami Tensei Stranger. I'm just saying, like, it feels to me yeah. like <laughs> like every three weeks yeah. we're putting a Shin Megami Tensei something <laughs> Pretty much. on our gaming yeah. list. Um, I can't wait to play Shin Megami Tensei colon double summoner two colon Raidu top. One Chambara. Yeah. Bikini Samurai Squad. Bikini Samurai Squad. Yeah. What the <laughs> fuck? So, do you want to try to say it or should I? Our Ton Clico <laughs> to <laughs> Melody of Metaphalica. Metaphalica. The Jizzening. <laughs> Majorca. <laughs> Publigal. Yes. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Reckless disregard for gravity. <laughs> Holy invasion of privacy, bad man. What did I do to deserve this? What? What? It looks so... I mean, that's... Well, okay, I'm not even going to talk about the game first. I'm just going to say that that title is fucking stupid. So, um, you know, like, the point of the Aston, we did this for a long time. How people, does it work again? Like, people review a game in 60 seconds, and then they mail us the game. And, like, they usually just make fun of it, like, fucking... So it has know. to be a bad game that's yeah. cheap, so yeah. you don't want to spend too much money. Um, and we got a lot. We so, got... We got oh, a lot, shit. and we're finally ready to give them away. So here is the stack. Hopefully you guys this? can see the stack. Holy shit. What do we got here? Red Ninja's somewhat engaging story is overshadowed by its awful control scheme. The game tried to make up for this with thong shot. Describe the enemies as stupid is an understatement. Apparently, Zap Brannigan wrote the AI. Knowing their weakness, I sent wave after wave of my own men at them until they reached their limit and shut down. I reached my limit and shut down after about one hour. To say that this game is ass juice is to do a disservice to juice that comes from ass. There's a word for this type of gameplay, though I can't think of it. Tobin, can you help me out here? Grind-a-thon. Avatar's cutscene graphics, which are cell shaded instead of animated, are downright terrible. I thought that I didn't like cell shading, but after seeing Okami, I realized that I don't like bad cell shading. Come on, guys, is it really that hard? The theme of the Wrestling Federation is not mentioned. I suspect that it's something like beautiful ladies of wrestling. Look at how fucking original this game is! A giant tower with a red eye at the top. That has never been in anything before. And if it has, it wasn't as big as Haven. Can you punch people? Fuck yeah! Can you kick people? Fuck yeah! Can you attack while jumping? Sadly, no. I'm saying yes, you can! The amount of attacks is incredible! This game is deep! So deep! What's the target data, you ask? You are required to get measurements of her breasts, her hips, her feet, her face, and her ass. You, you, get, you get the measurements by firing laser beams at her. Yeah, look at that guy. Lip syncing is right on. Oh my god, his voice acting is terrific! The graphics look like they're made by a blind kid with arthritis. Dodging bullets looks like a bad waltz or cha-cha. Another problem is the controls. They're so simplistic, it's retarded. This game only uses two buttons, the control stick and the A button. If you could plug an Atari 2600 controller into your GameCube, you could play this. That's how damn simple it is. When you catch it enough, you open up a door to a next narrow hallway. I mean, I played a hundred different hallways, and they all have different pictures. That's um, art design to the next level. Because we're ready to give this shit away. Yes. What are we doing? What are we doing? Uh, so we are doing. So it's 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 basically show us your shame. Yes. And we will give you a big pile of shame. It's uh, this is my uh, piggy pig. I bought him at the Mall of America in Minneapolis. Uh, he's really cool. He uh, he's not too soft. He's a little plastic. I love him, but uh, he does uh, make some really cool noises, and he walks. Florida 
snows or it never snows. Finally, this was called Doom 2, Hell on Earth. This was before Doom 2 was released. Cat, damn it, come on, get out of here. Come here, come here. Anyway, come here, just stay still. <clears throat> Let me read you guys an excerpt from this, uh, what would surely be an award-winning book. <clears throat> the parking garage was quiet in the dead of night. A young man walked out of an elevator into a parking garage. He didn't bother to look at the dark figure hiding behind his car. He put his key in his car door lock, whistling softly. This was a really attractive substitute teacher that we had, and I decided it would be fun to draw a picture of him and then write about how hot he was. In case you can't read it, it says, Damn, that's one hottie I drew. And hot tub with a giant smiley face. That's the most shameful drawing I think I've ever done in my life. Too powerful, seems yeah. too big, but they bounced <laughs> That's what she it. Said. Yeah, <laughs> she did. That's right. And I um, said, shut up, you'll be late for school. <laughs> uh, weaponsmith, whatever, and make it longer or yep. wider. <laughs> Increase your girth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, it's, and it's not spam at all, right? I was I mean, gonna say, I've like, gotten emails about that. I, I know. They're like, make your sword longer <laughs> and wider for her pleasure. That's right, and it works in this one. It just costs a lot of money. And there's actually one part where you have to hit a girl with your sword no to, to unlock her powers, and oh, she's really? like, ah, ah, <laughs> ah, ah. Well, it was, it was, was my balls on his face. It was, it was just having a sword and making sure it was wide the, the and long. Secret, and man, yeah, well, that's, <laughs> that's, that's been my secret to life. I, I'm just saying, yeah, <laughs> so it works. My, it my, the girth helped, but the, the length, <laughs> the, the length, length was crucial <laughs> in defeating the uh, I would have thought the girth the would have been more important. <laughs> Smack the Kraken with my, with my full length. That's right. Um, <laughs> until you lost power and then it withered. Which yeah. tends to happen. This, Especially if this, you... Yeah, this this doesn't help with Holy the sword's shit. length or girth. More yeah. blah blah blah. If you're a hot chick and you want to sell your body, there are there are ways to make a pile of money. As opposed to this. Don't do that, kids. No, don't. But I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. There's there's ways to do it. This Ha ha! <laughs> so you win. So that's I your think. show for the week. Braid! Wow. And the cool thing about it is that a lot of times you run up against these puzzles and you're like, there's no fucking way I can get that puzzle. No. And it's one of those things where in a lot of other games you run into this kind of shit and then you go and look up a fact online and it's yep. just like, oh, there's an invisible block over here. You have to yeah. jump on this By shit. By the way, trial and error. And you're like, God, fuck. Like this, you know, I go... You go and you look, but then, but these, yeah. once you figure it out, oh, it makes so sense. Good. It's never oh. unfair. It's never no. mean. It just involves you curling your brain yes. into knots. And now, I have to say, um, is surprising for me. So, like, the thing is, it is an RTS. Yeah, okay? so it's Age of Booty. Age of Booty is an RTS on PSN, PC, 360. Yeah. You liked it. I loved it. What? What? But it's an RTS. I know. So why? I, it's, it's hard to get at the, at the root of it. So... There's a couple reasons why. So for one okay. thing, there's no such thing as micromanagement. You have yeah. one agent that is you. You are one pirate boat. Uh, and then last up, uh, another, wow. Is it another Sony game? It is another Sony game. So last week, we were talking Mad Smack. Oh, we're yeah. like, Flower, what is that? He says it's like a it's like a game that's a poem. It's yeah. like the dreams of a flower. Blah, You're blah, like, blah, go blah. In. It's, like, it's going to be for girls. Yeah, yeah we actually like, said that. We're just like, this is so casual. It's, for, it's made for girls. Yeah. Um, wow, were we wrong. So, um, but the next game, I think, is going to be our is it game of the year? Game of the year? It might be. It might be. Dude, Shit, Deadly dude. Creatures. <laughs> Holy shit. This is another, this is like Flower. This is one of those yeah. things where if you go back and you watch our review, you're like, what the fuck is this shit? You're going around. What's the game? What's the game? You, you know? I think I'm getting a little tired of Crow. I, I know. Really I'm, I'm eating so much Crow. It's, it's, just, it's just. My own words, to, <laughs> just, they taste like bitterness and pain. But let's get to a game with a little bit of a, uh, a shorter name. Let's Short go name. to uh, Plants vs. Zombies. PVZ. PVZ. I am down with that. PVZ. So it's a new game by PopCap. Yes. You know how much I love PopCap. I feel like I owe you an apology. You you damn straight owe me an like apology. I feel like I owe you an apology. When, when I told you, right, I'm like, hey, dude, there's a new game called Plants vs. Zombies. And like, yeah. dude, uh, it's by the same guys did Peggle. Right. It's awesome. It's PopCap. It's great. It's right. desktop tower defense. But See, honestly, that was the problem. You said that. You're like, it's desktop tower defense. I said defense. really cool. Woo, what's next? a new game? Uh, we were, right? Nick's Quest. Nick's Quest. <laughs> so this last week, we're just, like, we're just like, 
okay, you know, Nick's quest looks kind of interesting. Um, yeah, and what is it? it looks we'll, like Kid Icarus, kind of? Yeah, it looks a little Kid icarus It looks a little, like, you know, we'll give it a shot. So I kind of went into it with that attitude. I bought it and I downloaded it. Yeah. And I was playing... And I, and I kind of looked up, and, and like an hour had passed, and, mm. and I kept giggling like I would get a new power. <laughs> um, but, oh, <laughs> Shadow Complex! This game! This game is the shit! Well, it's Metroid, basically. It is, it is, <laughs> it is pretty exactly much Metroid. Metroid. I mean, like, um, they, but it's Metroid re-envisioned, much prettier, I mean, just um, like... With Nathan Drake. Yeah, with they Nathan. that. Um... Ooh, half minute half hero. Minute hero. Uh, this is on the PSP. So this is this is a very different game. This I think caters more towards uh, the other audience. I think yes, the non Demon Souls audience. Yes, the non Demon Souls audience. Uh, I, uh, so half minute hero. We talked a little bit about this before. What this is is it's a PSP game, mm -hmm. uh, and what it does is it takes a bunch of kind of old school RPGs and it boils them down into you have to beat this shit in thirty seconds. <laughs> Something that that you would have played for forty hours. Yeah. On, on the NES. It's just like, hey, guess what? There's this guy at the end of the level, and he's a bad guy, and you're over here. Go. And it's like 29, 28, 27. You're like, ah! And, <clears throat> but Might and Magic Clash of Heroes. So I... You, you last week were like, I'm excited about this. I'm like... Pfft. Yeah, it's like, dude, it's a match three. Like, and you're like, yeah, whatever. whatever. I was like, I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> it's really good. It's actually really, really um, fun. Alive, Dude, there's talking no to you. way you can keep a 15 year old kid off of it. That kid's I, gonna be spanking it to dirty just, shit on the net. <laughs> that I'm okay with, right? Like, Dude, he's gonna do it anyway. Like, yeah, it's true. You, you oh, know. You oh, I know. Dead. I'm gonna be like, just be discreet. I don't know. Like, I was downloading lots of porn when I was 13, and it was the well, shit. We, we turned out awesome. <laughs> we turned out great. Did we? So, I, I, I did. Board? If, cares, if, if right? black nail polish equals vagina, I'm at CVS <laughs> buying the black nail polish, son. <laughs> Shit works. And it works I am really a vagina-powered well. vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> we like to, to kind of give it to you guys the way you want it. Uh, and <laughs> Dirty! <laughs> yeah, that came out wrong. <laughs> yeah, and 14-year-olds are walking up past. <laughs> oh, I'm fucking going to jail. Yeah, that's so, right. We're starting it now, Urban Legend. Urban Legend, yeah, that's right. Van Halen guitar. Have you girl. heard? <laughs> have you heard the the ghost of, of Eddie Van Halen haunts the, this this uh, this dump because there's 70 billion copies of his shit game in here. Yep. Totally was gonna show up and just be like, Hey, kids! Like, and there's like eight year olds. You're yeah. like, uh, What is this old man yeah. doing? The, the, the father is just like, Hey, three feet rule. <laughs> Why don't you stand back there and talk to Jimmy? That's right. I, like I was in Amsterdam, and I, I gotta tell you guys, Netherlands is the shit. Like, I love prostitutes, prostitutes, dick to the face, and put away wet. The women are so fucking hot. I would fuck every one of these women. So you park and hop out and go have sex with a woman in the boat, because I'm gonna go get my dick sucked. <laughs> <laughs> you could have sex again, dude. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but then the result is, oh uh, yeah, I guess. Lack yeah. of sex for Lack a while. Lack of sex for a while. <laughs> I'm just like, ah. The history of Assassin's Creed with Noob Tube is a long and and uh, inglorious one. Yeah, if you go back to episode eighty, sure. you basically see our review of it, and uh, we didn't. We were not kind. We at we all. were not kind at all. And since then, we've mocked Assassin's Creed a lot. We gotta drop no, the bomb. But yeah. Um, I don't like it. We don't like it. I don't like it at all. It's extremely repetitive, and that's yeah. probably the core of the problem. There are maybe four or five different activities you can do, and it's the same thing over and over again. Yeah. 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 What is it? Assassination. Yep. Um, saving a, a villager. Eavesdropping. Eavesdropping. Pick and pickpocketing. Yeah. That's it. My biggest issue with the game um, is is the, the repetitiveness, but at the very core of it, when I was playing the game, I kept thinking, this is a casual game. Like, I'm, what do you mean? Well, in that there is nothing in there that's actually skillful. Like, if you look hmm. at the screen, you're yeah. like, that is fucking awesome. They are running, they're yeah. jumping, they're climbing. It it's is the parkour beautiful, thing it's parkour. That, yeah, yeah, it's If amazing. you look at my hands... What are they doing? I'm holding forward <laughs> and holding the free run button. Right, you just walk, and then the moment you hold down those buttons, you're climbing, you're, you're doing, doing cool shit. jumps, you're doing all sorts of amazing stuff, yeah. but like, after a while, I'm like, okay, well, it's like I'm watching a movie. It's right. like, I'm not interacting with the, the game anymore. Yeah, first time you do it, the first time yeah. you do the leap of faith, you leap off, and it's just like the camera zooms out, and you're flying down, and, and then you like, hit a pace oh, tag. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Or like, did you know the first time you hit one of the viewpoints? Yeah. Where you go, you're like, all right, cool, I'm going to climb up this really weird building where you have to kind of like climb around. It's like, this yeah. is awesome. Yeah. You go to the top, it gets this nice little 
view, like, whoo, yeah. and you see the entire city, and you're like, and wow, you feel I like can a go, badass. Yeah. yeah. The, the dialogue, the, the, the cinematics and all that, and the, the script yeah. is, it didn't, uh, it's all it right. Didn't, yeah, exactly. Oh. oh! Assassin's Creed 2? <laughs> Do you think they listen to us? Do you think they watch the episode and saying like, oh, we gotta, we gotta change that? Totally. I think that NoobTube is completely <laughs> and utterly responsible for the revamp of Assassin's Creed 2. This one, I shit you not, I just wander. Yeah. I've been like wandering the streets. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go buy a new weapon. Oh, I'm gonna like kill that pickpocketer. Oh, I'm gonna go over and then find a new vantage point. Yep. You know, it's just like... Look for feathers. Yeah. Look for more glyphs. I mean, again, like, it just goes back to they put... Seriously, I think they almost put too much stuff. Really? Well, for me, because like I have a bit of OCD complex when it comes to some of these yeah. things, right? Where I'm like feather, oh glyph, yeah. and I'm like I'm supposed to be going out killing somebody, right? And I'm like I'm just wandering around. I look at my map. Oh my god, there's five hidden treasures yeah. near me, and I just I clear out the entire area. But that's great. So, like, I, <laughs> I mean, it's just like you know, unless I you're guess. in a hurry to finish the game, you know, it's but just I like it's weird. Well, I mean, it is good because it gives me the flexibility. It's like I want to advance the story. I want to fuck around. Yeah. I want to advance the story. I want to read all of my little database entries about yeah. the various pieces of architecture <laughs> in Italy. And you had been. You know, you're taking like five minutes to yeah. get up to the top of these things. You're like looking down. You're like, oh shit. Yeah. And the, the eagle goes and flies away, and you're yeah. standing there over the town, just looking down. And you're just all like, I need is a car. Yeah. You know, just to throw off. It's That's true. all I want. It's true. <laughs> but the cool thing is, once you observe the town, then you do your swan dive, and you're just like, ah. Yes. And that never gets old to me. No, like, it does it's not. Just, it's just badass. So the little things are what killed me. Like the 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 little the little funny bits of dialogue. The dialogue is really good. Oh my god! There's when when you meet your your uncle or whatever yes, it is, uncle and, and Mario. Yeah. My uncle Mario, and he's like, "It's a me, Mario." <laughs> I, I I just about like snarfed. <laughs> Yeah, I think I was like, I did like a spit take. And it's it's total cheesy thing, but it's like something you don't expect because yeah. for the most part it's pretty serious. Yeah. It's like, it's oh, serious. you know, blah blah blah. My parents, which makes blah, those blah, blah. moments so much better. Yeah, because the voice acting is top notch. Oh Just my god, absolutely every character is really well done. Yeah. So when they throw in these jokes, it makes it like three times funnier. Yeah. I, yeah, it's really good. Buy this game right now. Huh? Mass Effect. Ooh, Mass Effect. Mass Effect. This is going to be an interesting discussion, this isn't is it? This is definitely going to be a very interesting discussion. Uh, I, I just want to go through real quick and mention the other things that drove me crazy yeah, that yeah, kind of okay. made this not feel like and a game of the year for me. I will defend it. All right. Because so, once I was in the combat, yeah. I hated every second of it. Really? Well, like, what because was... it's it's active micromanagement. Because I've got... For this, the biotics. For the... For for the biotics, for telling them to take cover, for telling them which weapon to choose. I started learning. There's a there's definitely a learning curve with the combat, which is why I'm thinking if you played on easy combat, you yeah. actually might enjoy it more because the combat is less of a of a of a burden. And, and how, how how did the auto save work? There wasn't an auto save. Yeah, <laughs> the auto save sucks. It fucking sucks. Load times are ass and a half. Load times don't ass. seem that much different from a lot of other games to me. Dude, you're in an elevator every ten seconds. That's annoying. I don't like uh, a lot of the, the equipping menus. I think that it's really lame that they didn't do any sort of stacking of items, so you have to scroll through yeah, a whole bunch those of items. Are nits, though. But I've, I've, I've modified this weapon, but not this one. Yeah. And they look the same. Well, so you actually have to go into them and look. The annoying thing that I hated about it was the fact that if you have a character that doesn't know how to use a particular weapon, you can still equip that weapon. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. you can't unequip a weapon. You always have to have a weapon equipped, is my understanding. It, it seems like see. it, yeah. So like, I would equip like a great assault rifle, and then all of a sudden this other guy that needed to, that could use an assault rifle, I couldn't transfer it. Yeah. So, uh, these, all these complaints are perfectly valid, but for yeah. me, they, don't, they aren't bad enough for me to take a, took away too much enjoyment from the game for me. Okay. Because like, the, 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 the dialogue is so good, the voice acting is so good, yeah. the story is deep. So, but I'm going to give it an enthusiastic thumbs up. Definitely one of my top five, maybe even top three of the year. Yeah, I'm going to give it a thumbs down for now. Oh, so Mass Effect 2. Um, it's fucking <laughs> awesome. <laughs> they, they've taken what combat there is, mm. and they've made it really interesting to me. It's really good. Like, like surprisingly good. It's, it's because the combat's much simpler. And so. the fact that I don't have to worry about inventory. And the, and the other thing that's simple is the character progression. Guess what? All of your companions level up at the same time. Yep. Made the combat work for super anal people and people that are not super anal. <laughs> yeah. The point where, like, the ship is still a little bit annoying and such that there's four different levels and you have to take an elevator. Yeah. And it's not as bad as it was before, but no. it's a little long. It's, it's like little, yeah. 15 seconds or sure. something like that, right? But it's gone to a point where I'm okay with that. The, the load times when they exist are long. Yeah. But they've made such a great effort to say, you know, 
the load is going to earn you something. It's like it's not one mm-hmm. of these things where it's just like you're like running here, and you know that from get to point A to point B, you're gonna have to go through like four elevators. And yeah. You're like, run, run, load, run, run, load. Like this is like an instance mm-hmm. where you load for thirty seconds, but then you get to play for thirty minutes and a lot of playing time. Yeah. Like where you're doing combat, you're either talking to a bunch of people, and when yeah. you're talking to people, there is no load time. No. Like, none, at all. none whatsoever. You know, and like, um, and, and so I mean, you can walk through an entire level, go through twenty different battles, yep. shop, you know, shop, go to different conversations, do all these things, never load. Yeah. Um, well, I'm well going to go ahead and straight out say all the mini games suck. Yeah, they are they're shit. They You're are really bad. Dog shit. But, that I just oh really want to stress is that it feels good. Like you know, we've talked no. about these details, but yeah. like I was up until three thirty last mm-hmm. night, just playing. Where it's like I close my laptop lid. Yep. Like I don't want to talk to anybody. Yep. I you turn, turn on the lights. Yeah, you turn on the lights, and I you're just like, like I am in this world, and it is oh. fascinating. I know. Oh my God, is this game good? Uh, so this is one that you've been really excited for. Yes. So really excited I for. loved Yakuza. <laughs> I loved it. I loved Why? it. Loved it. Loved it. Because it. sucked. <laughs> It did not suck. <laughs> it was so bad. Yakuza is the shit. When did we review it? I think we were still doing audio at that point. Yeah, oh, it was like it, episode like five. Yeah, it was way back in the day. The ones that you guys have never seen. No. Yakuza two. Uh, so Yakuza, the, the whole th- the whole thing of the game is that uh, you know you're 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 in a really 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 authentic. Japanese feeling town, uh, present day, present day, yep. uh, and you're kind of going around beating the living shit out of people, and there's a big story behind it, and they're like, "Do you want to reminisce?" And then when oh. you say yes, it just plays you back what happened in Yakuza once so you come huh. up to speed. Wow, that's actually kind of cool. Because the plot is really, really important in this. I mean, like one of the big reasons you're playing Yakuza mm-hmm. too for the story is for the story. Uh, you know, so I mean, it's it's actually very well written. It's huh. very funny. Like. Is um, the combat and all that, the gameplay still the same, though? Because that's the thing. I they improve really the combat. Like, they improve okay. the combat a lot. They really like, do. The one of the things that bother, so there's a couple of things that bother me about Yakuza 1, right? Mm. Number one, you walk around the city and somebody would be like, hey, and you'd run up to you and you get a fucking random battle. All the time. It still happens a little oh, bit. Oh, shit. It's not, <laughs> you hate random but battles, you can get dude. away. It's really awesome because it's, they, they go out of their way to make everything feel authentic. Like, you can buy mm. shit in stores that is truly Japanese, like, yeah. even down to, like, the Boss brand coffee. And, really? You know, like, like all the, the beanies st- and all that yeah, stuff. Like, everything. Oh, thumbs up, you can yeah, too, yeah. obviously. Uh, well, I will play it, but I... Don't I bet, you dare! I bet it's going to be Don't bad! Don't you dare without <laughs> playing it! Take that thumb back! <laughs> all right. Games, so you use um, a three. Oh, jeez, like... Listen, I didn't like Yakuza 1. Like, I really didn't. And there was a lot, I yeah. think, a lot of good, valid reasons. And I played 2. Uh, I could, but I, I could kind of see where they were going. Yeah. With 3? Yeah. Oh, my fucking God. They sold it. They sold it. They, like, they, they, they sold me. I was going to say. Well, I get this main story. Yeah. But it's not as interesting as the 100 other things I can do in town. I know. The, the, the detail that they have. All the different shops that you have. They have quicklies. Yes. No, they have in Okinawa. They- you can go in and bowl. Yeah. You go by a place, you can play pool, you can play darts, you can play uh, batting cages. <laughs> batting cages is actually really fun. The thing that freaked me out, they put, in this game, they put a golf game. It has 50,000 mini games in it, yeah. plus it's a Tokyo simulator, plus there's a great Yakuza story, plus there's good fighting. Yeah, I mean, like, you take aspects of God of War, Grand Theft Auto, Fable for some of the RPG stuff, yep. put a really dense story around it, like, I don't know, like, any JRPG, I guess, yeah. basically, for the yeah. most part. You kind of add all this stuff together, and you set it in modern day. I say go buy this right now yeah. if you have any interest in any of the thousand different gameplay elements we just talked about. Yeah, and I think um, if you have any curious curiosity about Japan at all, this will give you a really good, um, you know, just feel for it. Yeah. Buy it. Yes. Buy it. Buy it. So <laughs> I was walking down the thing, and all of a sudden there was like something, something, and like it was like all kanji really and Japanese no characters, something. blah, 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 and a big four, and I was like... Huh. So see that? Like, the, yeah, it's like and it's like a big screen. They started playing the movie, and there's the fucking guy from Yakuza. Uh, I don't know what his name is. Probably Ryu something. Ryu something. Um, yeah, sure. And it looks so good. He's just like you know, he's having all these interactions with people. And he's walking down the street, and the streets like all the waters reflecting off the streets, and he's having these big gang fights, and he's like meeting all these people, walking through graveyards, and and it's the fourth one. It's you... the fourth one. Oh, that's yeah. unfortunate. Uh, but anyway, Yakuza Four looks. Awesome. It looks so good. Um, so, Yakuza 4, hell yes, well, someday. Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys, seriously. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is actually a uh, rated M for mature. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Parents don't let your kids watch us for any reason ever.
Why don't you guys branch out a little bit? Like, <laughs> little let, bit. Let, let's let's you know, like, let's open our horizons and do something that doesn't involve me and Yuzo being gay. <laughs> we know it's hilarious. Just a, but, you know, know, variety. Just a nice. suggestion. They, maybe they saw that. Fucking one. yakuza! That's I would true. fillet all four yakuzas at once. It'd be like four <laughs> yakuza cocks in my mouth. But, but two are in Japanese, and you can't you can't play yeah. them. Anyhow, I just mean they're but, small. No, that sounds like something that a chicken would do. <laughs> David Bowie's junk will always look awesome in Labyrinth because there's always like a Muppet right here and then David Bowie's like pendulous ball sack. Right now, um, I will have this in my grubby little cum stained fingers. <laughs> That was great. What? <laughs> I'm a porn star. Basically. I don't know if you guys know my side job is a porn star, and I need to be uh, gay porn. Unfortunately, <laughs> <laughs> I need to go fuck some dudes in Sweden. Is it's, there's no two ways around it? That's what's going it's, on. It's, I all the time. like to eat bukake. <laughs> All the time. Yeah, I mean, like, sometimes I get oh. it all over my face. Like, <laughs> I just get all sloppy. I'm like eating bukkake. It's like splashing. I, I get it in my eyes. <laughs> so that, yeah, I know. It's, it's, it sucks. Yeah. But, you know, and then they have the pearl special sometimes. Right. It's terrible. Yeah, I so. mean, you know, you never know what you're going to get it when you're eating bukkake. And the timing is terrible sometimes. Yeah. 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 Anyhow. Yeah, got it in my nose. It's <laughs> <laughs> taking a let's strange move, turn. Let's move on. <laughs> Muscle March! Shake what your mama gave you. Shake what your mama gave you. Shake what your mama gave you. Left, right, and back, back. Shake what your mama gave you. Shake what your mama gave you. Shake what your mama gave you. He and I would both be doing the half tuck. <laughs> We'd just be sitting there just being sexy. Just What's your workout tuck. routine? I know. How do you get those <laughs> arms, Nathan? You're so tough. You sure you're good? <laughs> Not that tough. <laughs> I <laughs> like girls. Sure. Um, and Nathan Drake. And Nathan Drake. Um, and Patrick yes. Stewart. Thank you for... <laughs> And David Bowie. And David Bowie. I'll give you David Bowie. There's some sexy I'll give you. dudes out there. I'll give you, yeah. so, I wish I could be as sexy. Yeah. I'm not um, saying they want their cock in my mouth. No. Saying they're, <laughs> just saying they're good looking too. Like, you know, there's, there's a line. There's a line. <laughs> him and uh, him and Nathan Drake. My, my two boys. You got a threesome with my gamer boys. Oh my God. Okay, so. Uh, okay, so. Wow, that, that went to a weird place. <laughs> I have a, a Nathan Drake uh, pillow. Pillow. <laughs> that I, pillow. I snuggle with at night. It's a love pillow. <laughs> what are you? What are you gay for Nathan Drake? That's just weird. Saying. Yeah, you don't want to see Tobin on the corner. No, you, you really don't. No, I, I am terrible at sucking dick. <laughs> I'm all teeth. <laughs> It's just like, ouch, ouch! <laughs> there's, there's, there are never any repeat customers. No, that's right. I, I've, got a, I've got a one star review on Yelp. <laughs> the more you know. Whoop. Uh. So we, we tracked Range down in his natural habitat. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we found him and... And we lived to tell the tale. I know. Which I many have not. There were some skulls in the background. You can see them Whew. at his place. So, yeah. uh... Here's the man, the myth, Rage. the legend. How's the episode coming along, man? Very good, gentlemen. <laughs> What's up, guys? So just first off, we'll give a little size comparison. We talked about Range being big. Yeah. This is... <laughs> yeah. much as us and he's unfazed. Unfazed. Unfazed by it. Yuzo is, Yuzo is falling off the chair. Yes. Yes. And two of these are whiskey. Two. Yes. Range, range, range is not made of normal human stuff. Those things are called children. What game sticks out as like a shitty game that you hated? Uh, just a 
about every game you guys talk about. <laughs> um, anything on the DS, I hate. <laughs> just in general? I, I hate FPSs on the console. I yeah. mean, just, Halo was the first thing I was able to cross that boundary with, right? But yeah. I hate FPSs on the console. Yeah. I fucking hate that, dude. <laughs> I want a fucking mouse. Do you like Pokemon games? Absolutely. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Only when I'm wearing Pokemon outfits around the house. <laughs> Which Pokemon do you like the best? I don't have any idea what Pokemons are. <laughs> I, mean, I know that's like the little yellow thing, right? Whatever. Show them to us! <laughs> what's, the, what's the name? The Pikachu! Yeah. Pikachu, that's it. So other than NoobTube, what kind of audio engineering do you like to do? Um, just sound production. I, yeah, nice. <laughs> do that. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I make just a lot of instrumental stuff. Um, I do a little production for a couple people on the side that are doing uh, this one folk singer. First cut is the <laughs> deepest. A uh, Middle Eastern rapper. Uh, all right, I got no rhymes. I got no rhymes. Uh, I got a female, two, a pair of female rappers coming by today. That's cool. Like that. So you just you kind of lay down the beats. You do the producing. Yeah. Audio engineering for NoobTube is done by Range Holy Roller Strunk. Range the hammer is his penis, Strunk. Range Gaijin Smash Strunk. Range Cougar Hunter Strunk. Audio engineering for NoobTube is done by Range Virgin Sacrifice Strunk. Range Brain Strunk. Frickin brains. Range Toilet Protector Strunk. Hmm. Range Enjoy Your Poop. Enjoy Your Poop. Strunk. Audio engineering for NoobTube is done by Range Slippery Walrus Vagina Strunk. Figure that one out. Range Secret Happy Cave Strunk. Hmm. Range Blue Cheese Martini Strunk. Range Girly Arm Strunk. Oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Thanks for listening, man! No, see you next week! Ah! What is your favorite nickname that we gave you at the end of the episode? I think Bed Presser has to be the winner. <laughs> Our first cut is the deepest. That might be. <laughs> Range. First cut is the deepest. Strong. <laughs> and then, so did you have one that like you hated that you just didn't think was funny at all? The one Yuzo said, I still can't repeat it out of my mouth. You gotta say it, man. You gotta I, I say actually, it. Actually, you know, I don't remember it. I carved it out of my memory. It was so offensive. Yes, I remember exactly what it is. <laughs> of course you should. It was the most offensive thing you've ever said, I think, in your life. So I think together it was range, ass to mouth. Ass to mouth. mouth. That's right. Ass to mouth. Strong. <laughs> Ass Audio mouth. engineering is done by Range. I do ass to mouth strunk. That's not right. And then this last question is a little gay. Uh, most imp- I don't know if I want to ask that. That's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is pretty right, ridiculous. Is, is, yeah, is, is length or girth more important? <laughs> it really depends on who I'm sticking to. <laughs> <laughs> Do you say the big girl? Yeah, so the girl. Big girls, yeah. Well, big girls need length. <laughs> Definitely. Gotcha. Definitely. But girth, right. is, girth is kind of more all-purpose, right? Right. Girth is, girth is, girth is always a must. Yeah. All right, girls, you gotta, you gotta climb. Right. Gotta, you gotta navigate through poles. You, know? <laughs> you gotta have a little bit more reach. <laughs> Do you have any uh, parting words for the uh, community out there? Yeah! I wrote a song about you. Watch it on YouTube. Tobin and Andyzo have put together a really great show. It's called YouTube. It's the best thing about YouTube. They can tell you what games to buy, what to avoid, and what to just try. It's YouTube. I guess you know it's called YouTube. So tie a chainsaw to a stick. Check out the show, cause it's pretty damn sick And you can be who you want to be When you join the community that is new to Yet you know it's called new to